Welcome to the J Crazy News Headlines and a special Monday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. You see the picture, right? You see the title, right? You see how messy these individuals are who claim to say they are in position to represent persons who are law-abiding. But definitely, they are true agents advocates for criminals. Now Miss Paula Nguyen, Miss DPP woman, you went and appealed for a four-year sentence for a man who was wanted for illegal gun and other crimes. Now Miss Paula, the minimum sentence is 15 years for illegal gun. But you went and you betrayed the people of Jamaica who are law abiding and you appealed for a four year sentence. After the government is trying to place sentences that are effective to send criminals behind bars, to take power out of the hands of criminals, but yet you drop the catch. You drop the ball. The only thing that the public want to do right now, Miss Paula, is to resign. Because you have shown us that you are a true agent for criminals, a true advocate for law breakers. And you talk about misinterpretation of the Firearms Act. When you're in office and you should know that the government have passed a minimum 15 year sentence for criminals who are held with illegal gun but you went and appealed for a four year sentence for a man who was wanted for illegal gun and other crimes Miss Paula Lowen, you simply cannot be trusted and if I were the government I would ask you to resign you are no longer needed at this post you have shown Jamaicans who want to change this country when it comes down to crime and violence that you are a true advocate for criminals you are a true defense for lawbreakers and you are an agent for murderers and men who hold illegal guns in this country what may I tell you this is a slap in the face for law abiding Jamaicans and you should be ashamed of yourself representing Jamaicans who are law abiding. I said before, you are no better than the criminals who are in the streets creating mayhem. You have created mayhem with this in the court system. Now we head towards Manifold Manchester, Jamaica. And the screen right now is Aldo Spat, aka Chukum, who was wanted by the police for several murders, shootings, and robberies in St. Elizabeth and also Manchester. Now, Chukum was a notorious figure in South Central Jamaica and he escaped the onslaught of the police on many occasions, my viewers and my subscribers. You know, this man slippery like snail. But unfortunately, he can't elude the police anymore because he was murdered by gunmen in a place called Old England. About 1.30 a.m. in Old England, residents heard loud explosions. The police were called to the scene and on arrival, they saw Chukum, Aldo Scott, suffering from gunshot wounds. Now he was found at the Old England Postal Agency with a gunshot wounds to the front of his head. Now he was lying on his back, my viewers and my subscribers, taken to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Now I said before, I, them always say no. If police can catch you or get you or kill you, then criminals will definitely dispose of you. And you choose a life you want to walk, you suffer the consequences. If you do bad, bad things will happen to you if you live by the gun 
you shall die by the gun. Now we head towards St. Thomas to be exact. On the screen right now is the late 37 year old Mark Forsyth of Trinityville Police Station. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, Mr. Forsyth was murdered this afternoon in York Main Road, St. Thomas. Now based on information, he got a call from residents that there were men, strange men, in that lane. Now he called other police branches to inform him of what was taking place and he went to investigate. Now there was an alleged robbery taking place where Mr. Mark Forsyth was shot and killed by the gunmen. Now it happened this afternoon at exactly 3.10 p.m. my viewers and my subscribers. The gunmen made good their escape. Now to the family of Mark Forsyth, condolences and may his soul rest in peace. However, this is sad that an ex-police officer murdered by the hands of criminals. And whenever a police officer is murdered in Jamaica, to be honest with you, it is sad. It is very, very sad and tragic. And I hope that whoever did this will be caught and punished to the full length of the law. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, we head back to the University of the West Indies where this young man screen right now who is Matthew Hyde, age 20, of a Kingston address and is also known to be an American student at UA, was in court today to answer the charges of torture, abuse and attempted murder of his ex-girlfriend. Now, based on information, he locked his ex-girlfriend in his room on campus for three days where he used an iron to torture her, giving her burns all over her body, my viewers and my subscribers. Burns that could have took her life. And you know, when an iron is hot, it's never a normal thing. A simple burn can cause huge damage, not to mention a huge burn from an iron. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, again I say, Matthew heard that his ex-girlfriend was giving away the chocho. Yeah man, she was giving away the chocho. So based on all of that, he locked her in his room for three days and tortured her. Now I talk about this time and time again. And I won't go over it in this video for tonight. But I am only saying that I hope this male student is charged to the full length of the law and not given a chance to walk off free because he is from the upper class, from a rich family. I hope to God. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, bless up. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play with him a review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play with him a review the thing then. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy